So recently we've been looking at a lot of different equipment used in steam plants and in continuing this today I wanted to give you a quick look at a section of our rental fleet as we take a look at our class one rental boilers. The class one as we refer to them internally are water tube boilers. These have higher capacities and pressure ranges and are uh, typical for large steam plant contingency planning. These boilers range from 30,000 pounds per hour up to 82,500 pounds per hour with pressure ranges anywhere from 100 up to 750 psi with both saturated and superheated uh, capabilities. The class ones are all trailer mounted for mobility and they usually will ship as a kit meaning that uh, there are several components required for installation and operation and can sometimes even require a second trailer for accessories. Now some of our larger capacity water tube boilers or certain job sites might even require accessories that need a third trailer in special circumstances. Now oftentimes plants requiring these units will need a temporary feed system or DA to accompany their rental and of course we have a large fleet of high capacity mobile feed systems as well available. Now typical to these units they will be equipped with a high efficiency low emissions gas and oil combination burner. They are usually equipped with Siemens PLC burner management systems and uh, for oil fired application they have a steam atomization system and of course they are pre-piped for fuel oil blow down piping, modulated feed water, and essentially are ready to connect to a site as a package system. These units, they ship with a stack cover, non-return and uh, steam valves, relief valves, and in some cases an economizer. All pieces of, of themselves are, are large pieces of equipment and proper planning is needed to ensure a successful connection of the boiler upon its arrival. Having an aerial lift, properly sized forklifts, and man lifts are critical for setting up these boilers. Oftentimes customers will utilize their in-house mechanics, facility personnel, or even hire a local mechanical contractor for the connection of the piping, valves, headers, stacks, and any other needed equipment for the operation of these guys. Now these units are very large and can weigh well over 100,000 pounds, and moving them is not a, a simple evolution. Uh, so proper planning and coordination is key when preparing for one of these to, to be delivered. It's not uncommon to see when these boilers are uh, shipped that permitting requirements can call for an indirect route. If there are bridge restrictions, clearance regulations, or certain traffic restrictions, then a detour would be routed into the travel plan. Basically meaning that a typical three hour transit may require four, five, even six hours just depending on how each Department of Transportation certifies that route. Some other considerations prior to the rental are your voltage requirements. You, you want to ensure that the connecting facility can meet the electrical requirements for the boiler's operations. So this is just uh, something that you can expect to be asked about prior to the boiler's arrival. So another final note worth mentioning for these boilers is that while the electrical panels and closures and most of the components on the boiler are all weatherproof and can withstand most of the elements, it is critical in the winter months during operation to plan to provide a shed that will protect the feed water and blow down piping from uh, freezing. Should the boiler shut down for a given amount of time in certain temperatures, it doesn't take long for the pipes to freeze and it can cause a, a, a dangerous situation or significant damage to the boiler. All right guys, well there you have it. I hope you liked this video. And if you liked it, be sure and hit that thumbs up button. Be sure and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Also, I want to mention Steam School coming up September 2nd and 3rd. If you'd like more information about that, you can get in touch with me at this number right here. And other than that, we'll see you next week for another Steamworks.